Hi guys, welcome back to another redstone video. Today I got another armor sorter for you, but we're actually gonna take it one step further this time. And instead of just sorting armor in general, we're actually gonna sort the type of armor. Alright, so here we got the setup. And here is the demonstration chest. So we got different boots, leggings, helmets, and chest plates in there. And here's the input. Alright, so this isn't too quick. We only can sort an item once this comparator clock activates. So yeah, let's take a look at what happens here. We're actually trying to dispense the armor at the armor stand here. But the armor stand isn't fully equipped. There's always one slot open. For example, it's, it's easy to see here in the back. Uh, this armor stand doesn't have a helmet. So in case we would try to equip this armor stand with a chest plate, then it can't do that. It would just spit out the chest plate and it's collected by the hopper minecart below. In case we can equip the top slot with the helmet, then of course something different happens. And that's actually what we're using here in order to distinguish between yeah, the types of armor. Alright, so in case a helmet is successfully placed at the armor stand, uh, then of course we need to break the armor stand and re-equip it with the other three armor pieces. Oh yeah, the system I think it's just finished. We can already take a look at the output. So as you can see here, we've got boots, this chest, leggings right there, and chest placed here, and here we got all the helmets. One thing that is absolutely necessary for this system to work is the fact that the order of the items that are created when the armor stand is broken is not randomized. So they're always created in the same order. So if you would activate the suspenser here, the arrows would break the armor stand and the items are collected in this order. Boots, leggings, chest plate, helmet and then armor stand. And it's always the same. So depending on the type of armor, we just have to unlock this hopper here at a specific time to get the correct item out of this hopper above. The rest of the items would go into this dropper here and then up the drop elevator and the armor stand gets re-equipped. So yeah, we can see a slight difference between the modules. So this is the uh, unit that sorts out the boots. And yeah, I unlock the hopper here based on this hopper chain. So the next one will be the leggings. They are take the output from the next hopper and so on. This will be chest plates and this is for the helmets. They yeah, also add some repeated delay. All right, now time for a tutorial how we can build this. So I'm going to build up the parts that are identical for each module. And then in the end, I'll show you what you need to do differently for the certain armor types. Right, let's do it over there. Minutory, I should already have all the required materials. So we're gonna need 12 observers, four comparators, normal piston, two sticky pistons, four node blocks, eight hoppers, uh, one power drill, four droppers, three dispensers, building blocks, then a couple of repeaters, depends a little bit on the module. So some pieces of redstone dust, uh, two redstone torches, arrows, then a chest is also good for the output. Uh, one slab, two armor stands, and a set of armor, and of course a hopper minecart. Okay, let's start over here. I'm gonna first pull up a little bit, so we have some space below, and then we can place the first dispensers. I'll place one here, and another one facing the first one, and a block gap in between. Okay, then below this dispenser here on the side, we're gonna place down three upwards facing droppers like this and then the last dispenser goes right here that's for the arrows so i'm gonna fill it up completely all right then let's continue with the hoppers so here one hopper pointing into the bottom dropper then output chests so this will be the output for the items to be sorted this is hopper like this and then we also need an output chest for the other items. So here on the side, one hopper pointing into this. All right, then let's continue here with the first dispenser. We need a comparator in the back, points into a block, and then we put some redstone dust on the top, power the dispenser, cause the connectivity, and update it with the rail. Then we also need to take an output from this hopper below. So again, comparator, the back, 
like this. And we power this block here with the yeah, redstone dust. Then above the block, another sticky piston and a block above that. And then we just need a repeater on four ticks of delay pointing into this block. Right, then we continue. Here we place a block and one here. Put some redstone dust on top. Then let's grab the observers. Point one upwards facing and one to the side powering the arrow dispenser. Alright, then we can already continue here. We also want to detect that redstone dust. Place a block right there and sticky piston here. Uh, normal piston, sorry, normal piston here. And observer that faces down. Then another one. Then we go over and actually up again. Another observer there. And it should look like this. Then we just want to put no blocks here for the dropper elevator. Alright, then we can continue. Now we actually also need to lock this hopper here. And that's why we got a dropper right there facing this way. And there's one item in it. I'm gonna use an arrow. And then we place down a comparator here that locks the hopper. Okay, then we need to make a little hopper loop. So the dropper shoots in the item into this hopper here and then goes around and back into the dropper. Like this. Okay, then we just need um, the repeater again on two ticks powering the dropper right there. Okay, then let's continue. We also need a sticky piston right here. And comparator take an output from this hopper here we put down a, red, a redstone torch and here we have an observer and a block powering the sticky piston okay now we already got quite a bit um, what's missing now is the slab we put the hopper minecart and the armor stand on so now let's place down top of minecart I like to drop it in from the top so just place a rail Minecart on top, remove the rail and let it drop down. Then we also need one armor stand. Which is placed here. The other armor stand actually goes into the hopper here at the bottom that is getting locked. Oh yeah, I forgot something <laughs> to take it out. Yeah, this is actually the part that we have to do now, uh, which is taking out uh, the correct item from the armor stand. We're not all the items are getting um, yeah, broken. All right, um, so let's actually do it for boots first and then I'll show you the other options. So for boots, you just want to place down the comparator right here and then place down the redstone dust here and then repeat, uh, redstone torch. Okay, now the would also work that we can put in the armor stand right there. So this is basically the sorter for boots. In order to sort out boots, you want to equip the armor stand with all three armor pieces that aren't boots. <laughs> so like this, now the, only the boot slot is open. Okay, so additionally, you also actually need to get uh, some more blocks and place it around the slab here, because that prevents items from glitching out. It's actually necessary, otherwise it wouldn't work. Right, then I think this is actually looking pretty good already would say let's try this out and here I would definitely recommend maybe to use a different block like a glass block instead so we don't block the hopper so all the other items so if we put in a chest plate just dispense it and goes into this chest here oh I put some observers in okay it goes into here and if I try the boots hopefully I'll break it Place an armor stand in again and equip it, and the boots go in here. Okay, so this is the setup for the boots. Um, in order to do the other armor you know, types, just have to change it slightly. So the next one will be the leggings. This is actually quite easy. We just need to remove this comparator, place it one block over, and then we just add a block here that is getting powered by the comparator. So this will be for the leggings, of course. You need to place the armor stand again and place everything except the leggings. So boots. And yeah, let's actually try it out. So we got the armor stand in there, yeah, let's try it out.
There we go. Good leggings in there. Okay, so the next one will be chest plate. There we need to remove all of this. And now we take the output coming from uh, this comparator here. And we just go around like this. Put a repeater down here. Add redstone dust in the back and wire it up like that. So this is for the chest plates. Um, last thing that is missing are helmets. So there we're gonna set this repeater to two ticks and this one here to three ticks. So this is for the helmets now. Okay, this should cover all cases. All right, so that's it. That's how I can sort different types of armor in Minecraft. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.